first. Is it okay? Come closer, yes. come closer. <laughs> yes. So in your policy, uh, you are talking a lot about digitalization and decarbonization. What does it mean concretely for young people? Well, for uh, young people, um, I consider myself being young at least in spirit. So uh, I, I want to say that I do that for myself as well. But uh, I think that uh, we need to tap into the new ways how society are functioning. Um, and uh, I believe that young people, you are showing us that uh, there is uh, lots of time that we waste uh, in traffic jams, in driving the car, in, in uh, uh, being engaged um, as a uh, really an uh, actor of the mobility instead of just enjoy the solutions of mobility. And the other day was really very uh, plastically described to me when uh, a young person said, look, for me, uh, spending uh, an hour and a half or two or three hours traveling before Luxembourg and Brussels and not doing anything, it's a complete waste of time. And I think that is a very clear message. Instead of being trapped in the traffic, we should enjoy the mobility and, um, of course, do whatever we do uh, in a normal time. Be connected, create, read, uh, or just be engaged with friends. So one thing is to ensure the mobility becomes real fun and that it really supports the needs. We are moving into uh, multimodality solutions, we're moving into more public solutions, public uh, transport solutions. This is one thing, so what you as a user, but on the other hand, I really want to get you on board as active participants, and that is makes a lot of sense to create digital plat uh, digital layer in order to allow value-added services to be created uh, and to really engage you as entrepreneurs, to engage you as startups, uh, and to bring you on board that you co-create the environment you want to live in. Yeah? And this is another another attempt. And that's why I'm pushing so much for digitalization. But at the same time, again, this is the third pillar. Uh, I want to co-create really healthy environment, and that's why we're pushing for digitalization. Uh, uh, sorry, for decarbonization to really uh, create uh, clean uh, air, to create a really safe environment, to de decrease the level of road uh, accidents, uh, and to, as I said, to offer something that creates a better, more engaged, and of course, healthier society. I know these are big words, um, and um, I, know, I know that there is no simple solution, not one step towards it, but I believe in power of networks. So uh, that's why we're opening up. Whatever we do, we're trying to create engagement conditions that everybody can come on board and really participate in uh, creation of policies, in creation of projects, uh, and I hope the young generation will really grab this opportunity. Come on board, engage, you know, push, Make yourself visible, make yourself uh, vocal, that we can hear you because, uh, uh, you know, you're co-creating something you're going to be living in much longer than we will. Uh, so I'm really inviting you on board and of course tell us also about the mechanisms that work for, for you. Don't allow us, the old mindsets, to create something for you. Yeah? We need to respond to you, but we can respond only if there is something, if there is a feedback. Yeah? Uh, so this is my invitation. <laughs> Thanks a lot for it. us as a young youth. We are targeting our main issue here. This is youth and employment. So how transport and mobility policies in regions, cities, and at European level can help to tackle youth employment? Of course, uh, look, uh, transport is very growing, uh, growing portfolio, and uh, me growing means more uh, job opportunities. Only with the engagement of uh, additional. 8 billion euros uh, through this uh, innovative financial mechanisms, we created uh, over 60,000 temporary jobs. Uh, we are yet to see how many of them will uh, be sustainable, but at least it's a good start. The other thing is, which I got also excited through a very specific case, we try to create good conditions uh, in a sense of um, inclusion, in a sense of uh, working conditions, clean uh, toilets, clean infrastructure for uh, young people to be more uh, sort of uh, attracted by transport as a profession and we see that we don't have a good balance of women and young people in transport and interesting enough because we've been really tackling the women's the women's employment in transport we get now feedbacks that once um, women come on board the 
conditions, the infrastructure becomes nicer, cleaner, <laughs> more engaging, and that attracts young people as well. Yeah? So basically, we see that we started uh, sort of uh, responding to two issues at the same time. And now we'd like to learn more what, how do we need to present and what kind of conditions we need to create in transport for you to come on board uh, in a more massive way. Yeah? Uh, because sometimes young people I see, I, they tell me that they are distracted or that they are not interested because they think that transport is dirty. Through digitalization, transport is becoming very smart and very clean and very um, engaging in a sense of new opportunities. Yeah? So I hope that you know, with right communication and with more young people like you and I see sparkles in your eyes and smiles <laughs> on your faces, uh, we will get you uh, in, in charge, engaged as well. It is really exciting portfolio. I mean, I, I love it. I really love it. It's concrete. Um, it, it has lots of uh, uh, space for creating solutions, for driving a change. So um, I think that I hope we'll learn from what drives you. Thanks a lot for this interview for Y Factor at Bratislava. <laughs> Thank you very much for the chance. Thanks.